Hola chamas y chamos, welcome back to Alvaro Dev Labs. Lately I have been receiving a lot of questions about my portfolio, especially how did I create these embeddable blogs that show StackBlitz uh, projects or Sketchfab models and so on into my webpage. So I thought of myself to do a video about it because it's a pretty cool thing to do in a study blog and it's pretty easy to do. So I thought to myself, why not doing a video about it and show you how I did. Also, I wrote an article in storyblog.com uh, regarding this topic. So if you want a writing version of this tutorial today, you can find it in the description below. So without further ado, let's jump into action. This video is sponsored by Storyblog. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, here I have one uh, StackBlitz project that I did in three years. Uh, with Tresius, and the idea will be to embed it into our story blog website. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, let's go here in uh, StackBlitz, and if you choose in Share here, and then you go to Embed, you're gonna see that you can embed uh, the code anywhere. Okay, so they offer by default a way of embedding the projects in websites. So one thing that will be important is that um, we can do a better um, implementation by using the uh, official SDK from StackBlitz. So we're gonna do just that. The idea will be that from a story blog, we create a blog and th that blog will uh, get a project ID, which is gonna be basically this ID right here. So if it's this project is gonna be traced, yes, low poly planet, and with that, it should be enough. We can also pass some um, parameters, like if we want to be preview only, which is really nice because you get the um, planet right away without the editor, but let's make it configurable. Today, I'm not gonna cover how to implement a uh, story log with Nux. For that, we have several resources uh, in this channel and also in the storyblog.com. Uh, I just followed the Nox Ultimate tutorial by Storyblog and I created a simple app, okay? So uh, here I have my Storyblog page. Uh, I can show you a little bit like the structure. So I do have here in the Nox config, uh, I'm using Uno CSS for the styling and um, passing the story block token here to the module. So you need to install the SDK, the story block SDK. The version uh, right now for the story block SDK is the 5.3.0. So that should be enough for a start to making this. If you have any question, please uh, let me know in the comments about this part, but uh, we are gonna continue from here. With that being said, if you run the, the project, um, you should be getting the preview of your page right here. I'm using uh, the design system as well from Storyblog. From the Storyblog side of things, I already created a new space for this tutorial. Uh, this is also covered in the Nox Ultimate tutorial or in any of my videos. So you should have something like this um, with a home page and then in the blog library, the default um, components that comes with the starter block, okay? So let's create our first block. So in the interface, you can go here to new block and let's put it a name that makes sense for us. For example, a stack bleed embed. Okay, uh, it needs to be, well, I don't know how you, na you name this, like uh, hyphens, okay? And uh, in type of uh, block type, we are going to select nestable block. So let's add it and then we will be prompt to create or add for that blog the fields that we want. So since um, if we go back to here and remember what we needed, we need something from the project ID, which is gonna be a, um, a string, a URL. And then maybe we can add uh, for the um, editor view, like preview only, for example, we can put um, maybe a Boolean or a toggle, okay? So let's keep it simple. And here I'm going to select project, I don't know, uh, project ID maybe. So let's add it. Um, but I made a mistake and it shouldn't be project ID in camel case. It should be like this. So project ID, that's fine. 
and then we will need to um oh well we can also pass in which page we want it to be open in this case uh, we wanted to open it in the view file so i'm gonna add as well that um, let's put open file here and it's also um, a string that's fine and then um, let's put a one that it says is preview and for this one we're gonna select a field of type bullet so let's add that and let's save our new block so what we can do here in the home page is actually add our components so if we um, find the like, insert block we can search for it and for some reason we cannot find it. okay let's go back block library so is this one nestable yeah it's nestable so it should work right let's go to the uh, here the stack blitz embed okay i didn't see it before so we open here and we can add our project id here so we are going to choose this one here the project id and then add it in here and then we are going to tell it to open in a specific file which is going to be this one right here source components and we can choose if it's gonna be a preview. So let's uh, select it and let's save. So you have noticed that it doesn't render anything. It's because we haven't created yet the block in our Nox uh, application to render the stack blitz. So let's do that. Actually, something that we should check if is the draft JSON is um, like inserting the stack blitz embed component here. So this is the information that we will need in front end with the SDK to uh, render it. So everything looks fine. Now we can go to the Nox application. Okay, now that we're back to our Nox application, let's open the sidebar here. And here we have a folder that is called a starter block. This is the folder that the SDK uses to auto import all the components needed for our uh, demo space or, or like a starter block space, okay? And here we have one for page and one for the teaser, but we are gonna create a new one for our just fresh stack blitz block. So I'm gonna come here and say a stack blitz embed dot view. And I'm just gonna add a simple layout for a single file component using setup syntax. So the first thing that we might need to do is uh, import the SDK from um, Stackblitz. So let's use like a Stackblitz like this from the SDK. And then we need a DOM element to pass it to the, um, because we are gonna use SDK embed project ID. And for this, we need to pass uh, the element ID, okay, which is a, a HTML element, and then the project ID. So how we can get in Nox or in Vue uh, the DOM element where we are gonna render? We can use template refs. So here, I'm gonna add a ref attribute, and I'm going to say something like embed. And then right here, I'm gonna say const embed equal ref null. But we need to wait until the DOM element is rendered or mounted to be able to use it. So we're going to use watch effect, okay? And we're going to wait for the SDK to be mounted. So let's see what uh, Copilot did here. Maybe it's not correct. So let's do it from scratch. So I'm going to do something like this. Okay, and now it's better. If it's an embed, value let's use the sdk project id and we're gonna pass the element but here we have a random uh, project id so let's use the one that um, we want to inject which is gonna be this one press yes low poly planet in your case it's gonna be the project id of the stack list that you want to insert so um right now it's hard coded okay we're passing the hard coded 
but let's see if it actually does something. So let's refresh here. And we can see that uh, it's doing like an iframe and it's injecting the SDK project, which in this case is the, the one that we want, is the um, low poly from Tres.js. But it's open in the readme and it's not open in, uh, with the preview or anything, but it's the one that we want. So that's good. Now, this is a block, so we can pass props to it. And in this case, we're passing the whole block prop from the page, the index page. So if we go here, uh, it's gonna take everything that is in home and with the starter block components, it's gonna pass the stories, the content, and it's gonna create each one of the components that we created here in uh, the page. In this case, the stack blitz in there. So what we're gonna do is go again to stack blitz and we're gonna pass the props and here we are going to use the props. So for the first one, we need the props ID. So props block project ID. Save, let's go back here, refresh. And it should be, oh no, it, it didn't work. It's actually showing one from Angular. I, I guess that's the default the one. Uh, it's because we need to uh, access it like this. This is a, a field name. So now that I change it, it should go to the correct one. Voila, perfect. We're in the correct one. Now, we want to implement this part, like the open file and the is preview. So if we go back to the stack blitz here, um, you need to pass an open file and a view here. Okay, so this is gonna be in the third parameter which is the embed options. So in this third parameter, we're gonna have one that is open file and we're gonna use props blog open file. And for the other one, um, we're gonna use, I, I forgot, view preview. Okay, so view. And if props.blog.is preview, We can select one of the default, like uh, editor, and if we toggle that, it's gonna be only the preview. So let's see if this works. Let's reload here. And now it's showing in only in preview. And if we do this, So it is not reacting to the changes that I'm doing here. So how we can fix that? But before we find out why, some words from our sponsors that made possible this content. Looking for a CMS solution that is great both for marketing teams and developers? Look no forward. StudyBlock is the headless CMS solutions that you always wanted to have. See how easy it is to change content for your website with a real-time visual editor creating a delightful customer experience for your teams. Go from a content update to production in no time. StudyBlock is easily integrable with multiple tech stacks, making your dev team's life easier. Go and try it for free at studyblock.com. Actually, it's something really simple to fix, uh, and it's because we are using a diff inside of our component and this div is being replaced with for uh, by the SDK with an iframe. So whenever we are changing something here, the SDK, which uses something called the starter block bridge, is going to try to render again the component. And in this case, the div is no longer there. It's only the iframe. So what we, what we need to do is go back here to the code, and we are going to add to the embed value. So probably we'll need to do it here. So we'll say embed value, and we are gonna append a child. In this case, we are want to create a div inside that child, okay? This is gonna create a div here. Then, 
instead of passing the uh, parent component on the uh, ref and here, we are going to pass a children of it, like this. And this one is going to be this. So if we save and we go back again here and we refresh, we're going to see that, okay, is preview, all fine. Let's check that it work. Okay, perfect. And then if I change this here, you see that the iframe is inserted again. So you replace the previous one and now we have it only in editor. Same thing we can um, do with the open files. So in this case, I'm going to change it for airplane. And now we have the correct view file on the SDK. And as easy as that, we have an embeddable block to get our projects from StackBlitz into our web page using StutterBlock. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe. It means a lot for me. And don't forget to ask all your questions in the comment section below. All the links regarding this tutorial, as well as the uh, writing part of it, is available on the description below. Happy coding!